In today's lesson, we're going to focus on polyatomic ions, particularly the organic ones. Now, if you're taking Gen Chem, a common organic polyatomic ion that you'll see is this one, C2H3O2 minus. So this is called acetate. Now, there's another form of acetate that you want to be familiar with. And here it is, CH3, COO minus. You'll see this form typically more in organic chemistry. To draw the Lewis structure, we could start with this carbon. Carbon in the form of CH3 has three hydrogen atoms and hydrogen can only form one bond. Carbon has four valence electrons, so it likes to form four bonds. Oxygen has six valence electrons. It needs two more to get to eight. So oxygen will typically like to form two bonds. When oxygen has two bonds, it's going to be neutral in charge. When oxygen has one bond, it's going to have a negative charge since it prefers to have two bonds. If you want to calculate the charge on an atom in a structure like this, you could use the formal charge equation which is equal to valence electrons minus the number of bonds and dots. In the case of this particular oxygen, it has six valence electrons. In this structure, it only has one bond. And we have three lone pairs, which is equal to six dots. So it becomes six minus seven, and we get a formal charge of minus one. This is the structure of acetate. That's how it looks like. So just make sure you're aware of these two forms of acetate. The next polyatomic ion, organic polyatomic ion that we're going to talk about is this one, C7H5O2 minus. So this is benzoate. Another common form that you may see is C6H5COO minus. You'll see that form typically in organic chemistry. General chemistry, you might see it like this. Whenever you see C6H5, it's a benzene ring. So the structure looks like this. We have six carbons in a ring with alternating double bonds, and there's five hydrogen atoms on these six carbons. The other carbon is attached to this group, which we've seen it before in acetate, so it's gonna have that carboxylate structure. So that is the structure of benzoate. Next up, we have cyanide, CN minus. If you were to draw the Lewis structure for cyanide, it looks like this. There's a triple bond between the carbon and the nitrogen. And both the carbon and the nitrogen have a lone pair. Similar to that is cyanate. The carbon is in the middle, but this time it's attached to an oxygen. It's still triple bonded to the nitrogen. By the way, this is just one resonance form of cyanate. It does have other resonance forms where both there's a double bond here and a double bond here. But this is the most stable out of the three resonance forms that cyanate has. So there are other ways you can draw it, is what I'm saying. Next one, SCN minus. This is thiocyanate. So thiocyanate is very similar to cyanate. The difference is instead of the oxygen, you have the sulfur. Sulfur and oxygen, they exist in the same group of the periodic table. They're in the same column. So their structure is going to be similar as a result. So this is the structure for thiocyanate. Next, we have formate. Formate is very similar to 
acetate. So if you recall, acetate looks like this. I didn't draw out the CH3 group, but so that's acetate. Formate is very similar to acetate. It has the carboxylate group, but instead of the methyl group, the CH3 group that you have here, there's going to be a hydrogen in formate. All right, the other ones, I'm just going to run through it. The next one is C3. H5O3 minus. This is called lactate. By the way, for those of you who want a list of polyatomic ions, uh, both the organic ones and the inorganic ones, uh, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. I'm going to be posting uh, the formula sheet uh, for those of you who want to print it out. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. So after lactate, the next one is C4H4O6 2 minus. This is called tartrate. Next, we have C6H5O7 3 minus, and this is called citrate. Now, these organic polyatomic ions, you may not see them too often in a typical general chemistry course, but some of them you will. You might see benzoate, you might see formate, and in certain acid-base titrations, you might see phthalate, which is C8H4O4. So not all of these are common, but you may see them, especially if you're taking uh, AP chemistry. Now, some other polyatomic ions that contain carbon is this one, which you're familiar with this one, carbonate. And then if you add a hydrogen to it, the charge will increase by one. So instead of it being two minus, it'll be just minus. This is called hydrogen carbonate. And there's also another name. It's also called bicarbonate. Another carbon-containing polyatomic ion is this one, fulminate. I didn't spell that right. Let's do that again. Fulminate. It's similar to cyanate but there's a difference notice that in fulminate the nitrogen is the center atom whereas in cyanate it's the carbon so that's basically it for this video so those are some common organic polyatomic ions that you may encounter once again if you want the formula sheet with all the other polyatomic ions feel free to check out the links in the description section below thanks for watching